question number two. And it says that a particle moves in a straight line so that its velocity at time t is t squared minus 2t. So that's our velocity, and that's important to remember, feet per second. If we want to find the total distance traveled by the particle on the time interval from 0 to 4. So knowing that this is our velocity and we want to um, find the total distance, it should be a clue maybe that we should set our velocity equal to zero and find where it's stopping. Because um, for these problems, oftentimes we're going to go a certain amount of time in one direction and then maybe go back. So um, we're going to have some time where we're tra traveling a negative, um, like a negative distance is how you can think of it, but we're really just going kind of like backwards, our velocity is negative. So we're going to set this equal to 0 and solve. And I'm going to just factor out t and I get t minus 2. And so I get t equals 0 and t equals 2. And I'm going to set that up on a number line. And I know that I'm going from 0 to 4. So I'm going to plug in 4 there. And I can just plug a number back into my velocity to see where it's positive and where it's negative. So I plug in 1. 1 here will give me 1 minus 2, which is negative. And then because of my multiplicities in there, this will switch to positive. So I know that from 0 to 2, my velocity will be negative, and from 2 to 4, my velocity is positive. So when I'm trying to find the total distance, I'm going to use my um, integrals, but I need to make sure that um, uh, from 0 to 2, I'm going to multiply by a negative, because I want that distance, I'm actually going to find the positive distance. And so that's going to be of t squared minus 2t plus the portion from 2 to 4 of t squared minus 2t because we want the total distance. So we're going to take what we would normally get, this negative value, we're going to multiply by a negative to make it positive, and then we're going to add the other portion. So when I take the integral of this, we just get t cubed over 3 minus um, 2t squared over 2, so that'll just be t squared. And I'm going to evaluate this from... 0 to 2, and I'm going to negate it. So when I plug in 2, I get 2 cubed, which is 8 over 3, so that's 8 thirds. Um, and remember, this is just t squared. Um, 2 squared is 4, so minus 4. And when I plug in 0, I get 0 minus 0, so minus 0 there, multiplying that by negative. Plus, and then the interval for this is the same, that uh, t cubed over 3 minus uh, t squared, evaluated from 2 to 4. When I plug in um, 4, I get 64 over 3 minus um, uh, 4 squared is 16 minus, um, we'll put a little parentheses there so we don't forget to distribute 2, and there would be um, 8 thirds minus 4. And so when I distribute that, I get a negative 8 thirds plus 4. So I can go through, and I'll rewrite that over here. And when I distribute all my negatives, I get negative 8 thirds plus 4 plus 64 thirds minus 16 minus 8 thirds uh, plus 4. So I get negative 16 thirds plus 8 minus 16, so minus 8, plus 64 thirds. Um, and then 64 minus 16 gives me 48 thirds minus 8. 48 thirds simplifies to be um, 16 minus 8, so your final answer is 8. And that is um, choice number, or choice letter C, so 8 figures. So your total distance between 0 and 4 that you're traveling is 8.